Pine Creek. Bit of a tricky map, and if this is going to be your first blight map, uh, there's probably a few things you need to know. But a lot of the collision in this map is actually pretty good. Hay bales are nice and reliable, so don't worry about uh, slipping on those. Same as these big, like, uh, oil drums. Not too bad. Someone's still here? Wait, is that in basement? No way do you drop shank power at five gens. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, although keep in mind the shack apart from this tarp is going to be very very slippery so just uh just try and keep that in mind just how w didn't she our lockers as well pretty good this entire tile though this is called a uh, cow tree right and uh it's pretty slippery the rocks on it look like it should be collidable but they're not really too great to be honest and also this main building as well is kind of gnarly just try and pretend this entire backside doesn't exist not really worth going for Oh, that's a dance of me. Possibly dead heart combo. Very good timing there. Lucky break also? Oh, I'm hoping not. Oh, well, I didn't want to... Wait, no, found her. Found her. Well, Jeff... Oh, that was incredible, man. He actually pushed us into the, um, into the side of him. Thanks so much. The objects, like, around here, all of these are going to have pretty good collision. goes off oh, fantastic that was the one on the right side towards shack right a double tinkerer oh spicy okay uh, how do you curve boss rushing to hit the windows like to do the shoulder bump i wouldn't recommend the shoulder bump if you're not already doing it to be honest it's felix uh, the problem with the shoulder bump is you've got to learn two separate bits of collision there and it's not really recommended but where are your scratch marks Interesting. Don't want to risk a hit there. Guarantee 90 though. Good stuff. But also, so pro tip, it's going to sound a little bit confusing, but some of the walls on the tiles don't actually exist. It looks like they should do, but they don't. So uh, my best advice is try and go for the corners of tiles as best as you can. And if you are going to go towards the middle of tiles... Uh, or the middle of the wall, I mean. Try and make sure you're going parallel, right? You've got to be going, like, as, as, as kind of head-on as possible. Ah, Yui. Nice haircut, by the way. Uh, live gameplay. Almost there. Good timing, man. And by the way, for anyone that doesn't know what these add-ons are doing, uh, they will allow me to recover quicker from my fatigue, but only if I um, actually go into fatigue, right? Good job, man. She wouldn't bother that, right? Nah, too much for gamer. Respect it. What? I'm getting juice around the seawall. There's no way. Absolute fucking god, dude. <laughs> well played. God, dude. Yeah, if, if you're rushing and you swing, that doesn't count as a standard fatigue. It counts as a missed, as a missed attack, right? Whereas, if I was rushing, like, normally and I miss something, as most new fights would do, that's how quick you recover. It's almost instant. Keep in mind, the nice thing about that is the quicker you recover from that animation, the quicker you'll start getting your um, tokens back. Like that, right? Super, super quick. You're just gonna make sure when you're running these add-ons that you're not swinging all the time. Well, the Tinkerer, no pro bueno. I guess we can go for you. Ah, uh, isn't good for zoning? Oh, it's fantastic for zoning, yeah. Especially if you get to a point that you don't know how to play, or, an, or I mean, it's a great example on Cold Wind. Because if you get to a position that's really, really risky, and there's nothing to collide with behind you, you can just literally sit there, and then fatigue, and you recover like like super, super quick. So balance landing. Uh, pro tip there as well. Um, blight swing speed is always going to be the same no matter the add-ons you're using. So make sure the best of your ability that you are trying to uh, wait until the survivors have stopped gaining that speed increase that's gonna be tricky actually we can try oh. 
Are uh, you counting every single game for the win streak or only the main build ones? Uh, the main build ones, if someone redeems a game, then it doesn't apply to the streak, right? Because someone could redeem, like, Shadowborn only, you know? Interesting. Tinker main building. Uh, that was what I was saying before. I if you can help it, try and avoid it. Sometimes it's going to be an angle where you just can't avoid having to go for something like that, but the, the backside has terrible collision. Almost there. She is kind of running like a robot. Also, three people injured. We can make some good value from this, actually. Up, another one down. What we could do, actually, I think we can stick her. Jeff. Jeff, buddy old pal. Stop with that toolbox, man. I'm trying to teach people how to play blight, dip. Death, does anyone know? Maybe. We have time to get to a hook and then go back towards the main gen. It's pretty close is the problem. Uh, also, if you are playing blanks and you're a normal person, you would also be kicking that gen, but uh, I don't do that. Uh, what color is my Bugatti? My Bugatti is the same color as my win streak right now. Uh, shit. <laughs> uh, that recovery time, uh, th that, that's what I mean. It just takes away the problem of... Um, of missing things, right? If, if you bump into the wrong spot and you need to fatigue, it's it's the best option. Uh, she's on death. Ah! Awesome. Uh, almost perfect game. I think Felix is the only person currently not on death here, which is great. So now we go back for Yui and Jeff, the main building, and we might be in a good spot. Oh. Nice job, dude. Felix. Felix is not in Deathic right now. I don't know what I reckon we can get around this. Although I said that the back of the building is not very good, the front of it is actually amazing. Surprisingly. A bit of Murmur Valley. One person over there. Next running over here. I'm going to say that we go for Yui first. Should be a guaranteed 3k, right? Uh, also, don't do that because they'll probably have power struggle. Not like Sparkling Water. Not at all. Sparkling Water is like... Disgusting, man. Oh, cheers. Uh, yeah, an another pro tip. Uh, don't trust the hills. Backside, maybe, but the rest of it, not worth it, dude. Pause. So, I guess the only other thing that we haven't really uh, discussed as far as Colbin goes is um, the lack of being able to see stuff through corn, right? Uh, my pro tip for, for Colbin when it comes to corn vision is going to be to stand still. Right. It's going to take a bit of practice when it comes to, like, learning your muscle memory for, um, for your slam duration. But let's say you're chasing someone, like, through here, you know? And I lose them in the corner. All I want to do is just rush to the nearest objects and turn to, f uh, to, to, turn to face them and stand dead still, right? If you're standing still, you'll see them moving in the corner, right? And as soon as you see them, you rush again. But the, the art of playing blight is to make sure that you are not... Oh, hold on. Hatch. The real life playing Blight is by is, is not panicking and being as patient as possible, right? So when you bump into something, just wait. If you rush past the survivor but you don't think you're quite close enough, just give it a bit more time, rush again, and just keep on going. He was on that side of the map, really? GG's. The BNP, prove thyself. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, hashtag... You too, buddy old pal. Okay, um, I, I, I don't know what I did to I, I thought I played the game pretty casually. I was literally explaining how to play the entire game with, like, a pretty standard build, dude. Said I love you? <laughs> no, you didn't. No, you did not. I think you are, um, telling, telling some lies right now, my friend. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, BNP... Um, there were three toolboxes there. Shit. You'll never know. Uh, I, I know all, including your IP address. And also, I probably shouldn't say it, actually. No, I'm, I'm not going to mean about that. Uh, GG's, dude. GG's.